morning kids. Aye, aye, Captain! We already know that buff amplification could be used to lengthen the juice duration. But is that the end of it? In this video, we will talk about how buff amplification could totally break this game when combined with snapshots. Before we start, who dreamed of being a stripper in the future? Y'all need Jesus. So, have you ever wondered how those crazy people can deal so much damage or reach a very high floor? There is a mechanism where your current state is converted to your summons or clones or bear form. In most cases, Animancer has this skill. So what Snapshot does, is to lock the time-limited buff we get from an outside source, into permanent buff. The source could be anything, whether it's a skill, weapon charge buff, pets, or anything. In case of Druid, we will retain the stats to ourselves in summons, while other classes are only sending the stats to their summons, so in this video, I will demonstrate the snapshots using Druid, because we could directly see the stats number. Now we already understand the basics, let's get into the real content. First, offhand weapon. In Season 1, we already know that some equipment could give some buff from charged attack. And now, along with the buff amplification set, we could actually add more of them at the same time because the duration is increased to 300%. We also have a new cool buff from this weapon, which would give 80 damage reduction. Make sure that the buff amplification is active, then start using all the buff you want. By the way, you can use this trick if you are not Animancer. After the first full buff, you can just refill the buff again with one charge bar. Second, Pet Buff and Skill. Actually we can use two of them at the same time, with buff amplification. I think 90 second has enough time window to get them in snapshot along with other methods. The same thing also works on Yen Yen and other dragon skills. Third, class skill and boons. As a druid, we have four buffs that could bring massive stats bonus by snapshot. For other Animancer, you need to check the skills from your respective classes. Fourth, Fate Bound and Boss Soul. There are too many of them, so I would just pick some of the new one. First, Mortal Combo. Second, Sorty. Third, 
third, Grand Master Soul. Fourth, Valadrian Soul. Sadly, Valadrian buff will be gone if we switch up gears, so the cost of getting minion power would be too expensive. Additional tips, you can increase your Scarecrow damage using Genderbender Fatebound. Actually, there are other things such as Apex Snapshot and Juice. But I assume that you guys already understand. At this point, everyone should have a rough idea of implementing the Snapshot, but the details may be unclear, so I will give you the summary for Druid. Don't forget to take a screenshot for you to learn. And now let's recap how many stats each method could bring us. Just imagine getting all these bonus stats as your Snapshot, it literally can make you three times stronger than before. Of course, this is not complete as there are still many things I haven't put it in this video, so, if you have more information, please share it in the comment section. Now I need to sleep because making this video is too tiring.